Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya's I Get Crafts. You guys, today we're doing something a little different. I want to make a card and it's a little bit out of my uh, norm and a little bit out of my comfort zone, not to mention. But I've got a lot of the pieces together that I want to be using. I have been thinking about this card for a while now. Today's the day to do it. So <laughs> we're going to do it. So I need a uh, card base. We're going to make a... Um, we're going to make an out of this world easel card and I want to make it uh, <laughs> you guys my cat is in the other room yelling at Josie and um, she's not really yelling she's talking for sure what am I doing here? I'm sorry I totally forgot what I'm doing um, now that I forgot standard card sizes four and a quarter by five and a half so, so we're gonna go which way do I want this? I want this to go up and down. Where's a four and a half by five and a quarter? I think it's five and a half by four and a quarter. Right? We're gonna go this way. Four and a quarter. I mean, I could make it however I want, right? Four and a half. Okay, how big is this? This is good. Oh, I just cut my paper by accident. Well. There's one slice. I think I ought to just do it there. That's going to be really wide. So we're going to go... We're going to go to four and a half this way. Okay? And then we are going to... This is my back. This is the back of the easel. So that's four and a half. So this is going to be... This is the piece that's going to go over it. Isn't that pretty together? This comes from this paper, the Paper Studio. This other one is... Is there a sticker on it? This is a Recollections, and I got it quite some time ago, and I should have probably made sure I got the part without the sticker on it, but let's see if we can save that. We can. This one's been in my stash for a while. Okay, so this one I did at, what did I say, four and a half? I have not done this before, so I am learning. I watched a few videos, and I'm like, yep, I'm doing it. I think I know what I'm doing, sort of. And then, so four and a half by, that's going to be way too long anyway. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This is the base, okay? This part I do know. We're going to fold this in half. I'll figure out the measurements for the inside part in just a minute. We fold this in half. We're going to use a bone folder to burnish it. And then one side, we're going to use going to use this one? Yeah, we're going to use this one. We're going to fold in half again. You can score this first if you prefer. And that is going to be, that is going to be the base of our card. See that? So this flips up. Now, so this is going to be, I know, doing here. So six. So what's going to be Four and a half by six. I don't think I want it that big, but it's too late because I already burnished it there. So six. Well, shucky darn. I guess we could always start over if we wanted to, huh? This is going to go. See, that's not going to be five and a half. No, five and three fourths. Five and a half. Let's go to five and a half. So if this goes here, it's going to flip up this way. I think I'm going to cut this one even shorter. And this paper isn't that sturdy, so I think I'm going to need to put this on yet another piece of paper before we do this. And, no, not that. As much as I could use that, I don't think I want to. I think I'm going to put it on this one. I don't want to layer of this in between. Maybe I want that black to show. Do I? It'd be kind of cool. I like it. All right, let's do that. So in that case then, then I want the black one to be that size. Four by five by four. Okay. 
and then we'll cut this to four and five. We're just getting shorter and shorter, aren't we? Don't follow along, just, you know, maybe do it after the fact. <laughs> Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so we're going to do that because I haven't been crafting in a few days, so I'm a little bit out of practice. In fact, my glue is stuck. Ow! I haven't been feeling very good these last couple days, so I apologize. I haven't been here much. I've been trying to get, you know, some videos out, but it hasn't really... Haven't been all too good at it. Oh, I just did this wrong, but okay, so what we're gonna oh no I didn't. We're good. We're gonna glue all of the back side of this one because we're putting that piece on the back. We're matting it on this one first. And then we're only gonna put glue on this bottom half. So about halfway. I probably went a little under because I can always fix it, but it's hard to wipe off and not be sticky. We will glue this one down here, just on the bottom. Oops, we can go up a little, kind of even it out. See, it's kind of hard to wipe off. So we've only glued the bottom part so that when we fold it up, that part sticks up just like that. Okay. Now, I can glue a little bit more in here because I was shy of halfway, so I'm going to fix that. Let's burnish that down. I have been really thinking about, I wanted to do, I wanted to go all the way from watercolor and do my own backgrounds, and I remembered I had this paper that I would probably never use on anything else, and I thought this would be super cute, right? So this would be cute for a out of this world birthday or something like that. Um, I don't think I have I don't think I have a sentiment like that. I might have to print something off the computer later for it, or maybe I'll just you know I'll probably add this to the the box for our cards for kindness. Now I did I did get this from Timu little spaceship. And I'll see if I can find the link for it. If I can, it'll be in the description box. If I can't, I'm sorry, I won't I won't be able to list it. Um, but I'll look through my orders and see if I can find it for you. But you don't have to use this kind of um, this die at all. You could use you could use a floral print and do like flowers. You could do anything with this uh, easel card format. How come it didn't cut very well through this part? What's going on there? I only put it through one time, I think. Ah, oh, shoot. I cut out white ones to help back it so it'd be stronger. It's not going to work if it didn't if it didn't actually cut out though. Because we're going to put a wobble on the back. It's going to be so cute. At least I think we're going to put a wobble on the back. I think I, I think I, I got some, and I think they're in the drawer next to me. But if they're not there, then we won't put a wobble on it because I won't know they are, where they are. And I meant to get them out, but I didn't. So we'll get these little pieces out of here. At least if I have one, it'll be stronger. Where's my pokey tool? There we go. Like I said, I've just been thinking about this card and making this card. I think it would be really fun. My boss is a Star Wars and Star Trek fan. So, um, see this stuff around the office all the time it's kind of funny so when I saw this die cut I was like yeah I know what to do with that there we 
go. I hope you guys are doing great. Sorry for the... Oh, shoot. This, that might have been a bad choice to use this paper because it's got a logo on the back of it. And if I pop it up... May or may not show. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be okay. Probably should have just used black paper. I think I'm going to do that. Give me just a second while I run this through real quick. You guys just stay there. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to run this through with black cardstock so we don't have to fuss with it anymore. Make sure that it's good and cut. We're going to have a quick video today because I have most of my parts finished. Don't have to do too much to this, huh? I'm going to run it through twice just to make sure. Just to make sure. I need to do some... I got some fun fall crappy stuff recently when I went to Michael's. And I have not even taken it out of the bag yet. And that's embarrassing. I literally have not been in my craft room nearly enough. Okay, so this is bugging me. Okay, that one comes out. This one comes out. There we go. It came out of the silver perfect. This one's better. I'm hearing voices. Kids must be talking downstairs. It, but that's okay because this isn't going to be the main one. This is going to be the background of the other one. The silver one's going to be the one that shows. But I do have to get these parts out or they will show through. And we don't want that. Oh yeah, that was definitely my kiddos talking. Okay. Alright, we're just going to glue this one on there. This is just for stability, but at least we don't have to worry about that logo on the back. He's stuck on there. All right, there we go. That's all pushed together, pressed together. Let's see if we can get that flatter. All right, let's find that wobble. I think I put them right here. Wobble, wobble. Perhaps I did not put them here. Oh, All right, let's check the next one. Hi, Hector really wants to cut the tree in our front yard. Hector can <laughs> cut his own tree. He said that his previous quote is now half. How hilarious is that? Right? Maybe if he keeps coming back, he'll get into a range that I can afford. Why does he want to cut my tree so bad? I don't know. Probably because he wants to cut a tree. Probably because he needs money. Can you blame him? We all do. So do I. I need, I need my money more than he does. Hey, Mom, I will cut that tree for you for $50 less than him. Amazing. <laughs> I, I heard you talking to somebody. I wasn't quite sure what was going on out there. Well, he snuck up on me. He does that. 
I was just like, oh my god. He's like, hey, we talked last time. I was like, oh, did we? I talked to a lot of people trying to cut He probably thought you were me. Probably. All I know is that everybody's trying to get me to get them to cut that tree. Why do they want to cut my tree? Because your tree has a bunch of hickory nuts and it hangs over the driveway and it smashes... I understand what my tree does. They want to slice up the side of it, which is going to make it ugly as you know what. Yeah, but my our bubbles. windshield's going to be spared. Whatever. I'd rather pay for a windshield than that tree. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have a ginormous hickory tree over my driveway. And eventually it probably does need to come out. But they want to clean my tree. You know, it has branches on all sides. They just want to trim these all the way up, straight up the tree, so they don't hang over the driveway. So the rest of the tree would be full. And they quoted me, he quoted me $1,200 to do that. $1,200 to make my tree ugly. Okay, so I'm going to put a wobble on the back of this. Now, I've never used these before. I did get these off of Timu. And I will put a link there too if I can find them. It shouldn't be hard. I'm sure you, I know you can get these probably anywhere, but that's where I got mine. And let's see how they work. I think this can go like right around. I think it's going to show no matter where I put it. So I'm going to see if I can trim some of this plastic away. Ugh. Careful not to cut into the springy action part. Let's see if that fits better. That fits better. I'm happy with that, I think. Yeah, okay. And then... This will go down on there. Now, what I want to do, I want to put a little plaque down here for a sentiment. And I was thinking about putting, I think I'm going to go backwards with this. And I think what I'd like to do is, where did this I was thinking about putting like one of these, maybe this round one would be kind of fun since it's got all the circles on there. We could do something like this, put black with white over the top. When I print a sentiment, I can put it on there. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to do this one in black. I'm sorry, I'm thinking. I'm, if I'm getting quiet, I'm thinking of the one. And I think this one will go through my, my sidekick here. So we'll just run this through here. Maybe. This scrap on my desk from Halloween. Actually, it's not from Halloween. It's from Advent calendars. I have been crafting a little bit. I've been trying to start some Advent calendars, and so I've been working on the boxes part and just kind of putting them aside. So I have a box full of boxes right now. I need to make some more because I don't have enough to make a. I want to make a few of them. Okay, so we'll go this way. You know what I would have liked is to have put a silver one underneath it. I wonder if, oh, shoot, I used the biggest one. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I 
don't think I'm overthinking this. I think here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this a little different than, than I thought I was going to do this. I'm going to do this this way. Okay. We're going to put the silver one, the biggest one, silver. Biggest one, silver. Now, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know where I got these, um, these die cuts, but if I find them, if, if I find them, I'll, I'll put a link to, they're most likely team, I don't know for sure. That one, and then let's do this next one in black. like the next one does it but it is okay so there's that now I'm thinking we could put just a big let's not go down why is it giving me trouble put a big happy birthday over the top of it maybe in this color let me find my happy birthdays Ooh, even if I have a HBTU one, what if I have that die? Would be cute on the front of that because that would kind of fit really nicely, wouldn't it? Oh, or I have I have letter dies, you guys. Let me see. I could make this happen. Let me see if I actually have that a die that says that. Might be kind of hard to find them in here. If I do, that's Merry Christmas. That shouldn't be in there. Or I could do a kind of retro one. Happy birthday. It's kind of big though, isn't it? Um, I could do this happy birthday. Kind of a... That'd be kind of nice. I like that one. Disney. Um, make a wish now. These are not appropriate for that one. Not appropriate as inappropriate, but it's not quite right. Birthday, that one's kind of big. I think we're just going to use this one. I think that's going to be the easiest. It's here. It's great. I love it. All right, we'll put those away later. Set that aside. Let's use this one. Hopefully this will be a good color combo to put this one on top. And I think this may have been a Timu die also. If I find it, I will link you to it. Not sure if it is. Yeah, I think that's nice. I like that a lot. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I think that's beautiful. Okay, let's put this aside for now. Let's go ahead and stick our little wobbly dude on there so he can stay. I don't know 
of this way. Which way is up? I'm thinking these little antenna looking things are is up. So I'm just gonna. Let's do that, and then there we go, and this one, give me just a second, guys, I'm going to push my door shut. Josie's in a conference call, and I can hear everything they're saying, and I'm like, oh, oh, somebody sounds really frustrated. I'm going to close that door. I'd be frustrated, too, if I had to deal with that. All right, gonna put this in the middle, ish. Hopefully, you guys couldn't hear that. I apologize if you could. There we go. Probably not as well as I could. I think I'm gonna put this kind of here in the middle of the space right here. All right. And then we're going to pop this one up. I think I've got foam that's thin enough, foam tape that's thin enough that can fit on some of those. I believe, oops, that's not foam tape, is it? How about dots? Can I use some dots? These are thin though. Wait, 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 wait. That's not what I want. This is what I want. This stuff little thicker than those others. Stick it just a little farther. Yeah, it's just a regular day around here today. I'm not working today, which is nice. I have to end tomorrow off. I need it. I was actually getting sick and uh, I went to bed somewhere around 5.30, 6 last night after I ate dinner. Slept you know, most of the night. I was not feeling good at all. I guess I didn't eat that one that close, but that's okay. So I'm hoping that I oh, don't end up getting sick. Too much to do. And of course, I've been doing cup orders. I've been talking about that. There's so many. I'm so appreciative. So appreciative of the cup orders. If any of you guys are watching this, have ordered cups lately, thank you so much. Makes a difference. And there we go. And they're they're in process. I'm getting ready to ship some out to, again today. So that'll be good. Just take the backings off of these. Now on the inside of this card, I'm going to have to make a way for the easel to stand up, of course so that it doesn't just slide back down. So I'll be creating that. And then on the inside is where I'll put the statement about hope it's out of this world or something. Something to that effect. Now I have not printed that yet, so we're not doing that part today. But that's what I'll probably put on it. So to happy birthday on the outside, then I hope it's out of this world on the inside. Something similar. There we go. Happy birthday. Kind of try to even that up. Before I do, this one shows way too much. Let's kind of clean that up a little. And this one is too long right here. I always like to look for that tape and make sure it's not poking out the other side. If it is, just use your scissors. Trim it back a little. So there's the majority of our card. I love this. This is great. And then we need to put a strip down here that's going to make it stop so it doesn't slide back down. So what we'll do, I think I'm going to just repeat what we did here. 
and I'm gonna put I'm gonna build it up so I'm gonna use some of that how far across does it go how wide is this it is four and a half this won't make it to four and a half I don't think let's do two inches wasn't two inches but it was crooked so I'm gonna bring it back down to two inches by four and a half that way it'll go all the way across two inches by four and a half then I'm gonna go with black two inches so one and three fourths go with do we put purple on this one I had a piece of that that I cut off didn't I no I did oops I'm sliding my whole map okay so we can put just a white piece, but I think that would be boring as I'll get out. So maybe we'll do it a little different. We'll put that purple here. And I can't find a piece of paper to cut off of there, but maybe that's okay. Maybe it wasn't big enough. Let's see if I've got another of that print. silver there first, don't I? I don't think I have any more silver. I think I used my silver. I used the silver, so we're just going to put it on here. What did I say? Four and a half by one and a half? So this is going to go on the base of the card right here to catch that so it doesn't slide. See that? I think it's great. And then we'll, I'll put a piece of white paper here with the sentiment on it. Alright, so let's go ahead and glue these. Any rubber stamps like that, so I'll have to print something. Maybe I'll get on Etsy and see if anybody has anything like that. basic construction of an easel card guys gotta have something at the bottom to catch it so it doesn't slide I'm gonna trim this just a little little bit on each end just to make sure it's straight just clean it up just a little bit and then I'm gonna glue this down
down here at the bottom. Could put something like Hope It's Stellar. There we go. So there's the birthday. It'll fit flat in an envelope, so you can put it in a regular envelope. It'll do its little pop thing, and then right there, there's our little card. I absolutely think this is great. I hope you guys like it too. I think it's going to be super cute. I'll get that sentiment on there, and I think that's a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, plan to make a whole bunch more of these easel cards. I, I have a lot of ideas. I'm hoping to make some for Christmas too. I think it's super cute. I hope you guys have a great one. Thanks for joining me today crafting along and trying this out. I think it turned out fantastic. So yay. <laughs> Hopefully the recipient will too. Have a fantastic day guys. See you in the next video. Bye bye.